Hello everyone. Welcome to Caroline's Craft Tree. We are here again with another challenge for week 47 of the CCT 52 challenge. Never too late to start the challenge. You can do these at any time that you want. Let's get started. We are doing a pocket or a flip. And we rolled a six, so that means we are doing mixed media on it. So let's dump these out and let's pick something. Got my eyes closed. And we are going to do corrugated cardboard. Okay. Now let's roll the dice again. We are doing five prompts. So let's get all these. We're getting down there, but okay, let's we need five prompts. We got one, two, three, four, and five. We have wax seal, a banner, a ticket, an arrow and gears that seems doable don't know what i'm going to make yet but something's going to pump into my head usually i get some ideas as i'm pulling out stuff to make my project with so let me go and i'll pick these out and then i'll come back we'll make our project and yeah like subscribe all that stuff but yeah i'll be right back okay so i've gathered up my goodies and we have um, for my corrugated cardboard i've got this little thing so it kind of makes corrugated cardboard Hopefully you can see that. Shows up not bad on the back side. But so that's gonna be my corrugated cardboard. I've got all the other stuff. Um just gotta reach my little hole punch here because I will need that at some point. Let's start by going to make a cluster down in this corner, but um, I don't want to glue down the edges that are not going to be on this little pocket. Hopefully that makes sense. So actually, I won't see the back so let's go ahead and let's do I'm gonna put that kind of about like that let's just put a couple little lines here and I'll know kind of where to glue Kind of like that. <clears throat> now we just gotta sort of line that back up as long as it's close. Not really gonna see the back, but with this hanging over, I wanna make a pocket behind this as well. Now I got a whole bunch of things. For my gears, I'm going to use this bike because I'm only going to see the wheels. Um, let's put this on next. Let's kind of put it over here. Just layering a few things up. 
give it all some interest and just kind of make it look fun. That can go This was a little chunk of that paper that was left over. So rather than storing it, I'm using it. And it kind of gives, blends the color from this into the little collage. Now this is kind of going to stick out. That's going to go about there, so... <clears throat> this... Couldn't believe I did not have any gears. I know I've got some metal gears somewhere. But I could not find them. And that's the one thing about setting up a new craft room, is remembering where you put everything. Because I am like 99% sure I have a whole bunch of gears. And I will find them. This. I don't know, this was on something and then I ripped it apart. And I just happened to find it while I was looking through stuff. So I thought, you know what? Let's use it on this. Use it up. Put that right there. There's a fairly hefty piece of cardstock, so it might take a second to make sure that it gets glued down okay. This has a very steampunk feel to it. Just hold that down for a second longer. I'm gonna be happy when I get my real video thing set up. Now I was gonna put this right on there. And of course that one fit, so let's Take this here. Poke a hole right down through there. I want to go all... Ah, oh, you see. I knew I was going to mess up. I actually wanted to put this brad on before I put it all onto the pocket. That's okay. We'll make do. Because of the fact I'm putting a brad through there. Okay. Let's see now I gotta deal with that. That's okay. Because whatever I put down there is going to hit that now. You could put that any which way you want it. Let's... It's going to take... A little piece of this. Um, 
been thinking if I put this here, that might catch something just as much. So I'm just going to leave it and hope for the best. Now we're just going to glue this down to make our pocket. Like so. Let's put that down there. This was actually a 12 by 12 piece of paper. And it was kind of a leftover piece. And I just kind of came across that. I guess I could use that for the gears too. So now we've got a little pocket behind here. Actually, that's not bad. It does stop it, but it goes far enough down. So eventually I'll make a, make a tag or something for in here. And we are going to do, whoops, wax seal. This is a wax seal, and then I cut it out, which was kind of cool. Oh, I'm going to put the numbers on it, too. Let's glue this. I'm going to put this right up there. Hopefully, it will stay glued. I might have to use hot glue on it. Um, Got to be careful putting hot glue on a wax seal, though. And we need to put the number on here somewhere. Let's see. I'm going to put it right down in this corner. down there. I always file down my numbers um, like over top of the black. These are from vintage calendar pages. And I just find them a little too black. So I just run a nail file over them once or twice. There's that. Now let's, we're just going to glue down on three sides. Because that'll give us a big pocket in the back as well. And let's just, I kind of wondered, like, which page to put this on. And I thought, you know what, this journal, the weekly challenge journal, is just so eclectic that really it's going to go anywhere. So I decided to put it on something that was a little brighter. So now we've got a big pocket here and it goes all the way down. So there we have week 47 of the CCT 52 challenge. We got gears, we got our banner, our ticket, our wax seal, our arrow, and our corrugated cardboard. Hope you enjoyed this week. Play along if you want. If you do play along, let me know. I would love to link to your channel and come on over, post a picture in the Facebook group and possibly win a free digital kit. Check out the other channels that are partaking in the challenge and we'll see you again soon. Bye for now.